This video is to quickly show you how for just pennies you can completely eliminate robbing and make your bees a lot more nicer because they don't feel threatened with a feeder on the front. You can take simple window screen that you probably already have on your window. This is a plastic screen I'm trying out uh, that was really inexpensive, but I really prefer, to be honest, a window screen. It has tighter holes, a tighter gap. See, they already know where it is, so I don't need to stick there anymore. But anyways, window screen has a tighter gap, and I like it because it tends to be a little extra on the small hive beetles. In fact, we have a bad small hive beetle problem. And as you can tell, this hive is sort of in, in the shade. To make this, all I did was I took a screwdriver or a stick. A screwdriver works best for me. Just inserted it and to make the hole. And then I stapled on the sides to make the hole so it sort of popped up. The tunnel goes directly down. Some days it's really hot. It's like 85 degrees, but then it's like 40 at night. So having a entrance reducer is not necessarily in the best benefit of these bees because they need to ventilate. Now those bees are not lost. They're actually communicating. There's not many bees that stand around and protect this place. Just a couple there inside of the screen. That's it. I can hear them ventilating. Drones will go up and come down. I don't have any right now, but I have filmed before this. There's an entrance feeder. I did put pollen on here. I thought maybe the bees might need some pollen, but no, they've, they've got it from everywhere, so I'll, I'll make sure and wash it off later. It looks terrible, but I can assure you this was like two and a half frames of bees, if even. A very very weak weak nuke and I have now in just a couple of weeks got them where they actually ended up needing a second five frame nuke on top and next weekend I'm probably gonna have to move them into a full deep they are rapidly packing in pollen frames and frames of brood and they have a lot of frames of nectar they're not getting robbed and their whole focus has been foraging. They're not busy defending. They're not really that very, I can open up, they're not mean. Like, they were a little sassy when I first started, but about a week after I put this on here, they now, they're not, they're not mean. I just had a very, I had a very um, huge swarm come in that were not these bees, obviously. Uh, and those the swarm never it's right not but a few feet away from just maybe like i don't know a couple yards away from this they've got a feeder and that swarm isn't even anywhere near it and it's an extensive very busy hive right by this one this one has the feeder and nobody's messing with it so my point is, don't wait until you get robbed. You can do this now. Uh, I don't have rodents as a problem because this is high up. Um, but if I did, maybe you just put a metal guard over there, just over this. Um, and at first you may wanna just insert a stick. But after you bees learn it, you don't need the stick. They look for the gap. They climb up and look for the gap. They learn it very quickly. It's best to put it on at night. And if I get more traffic, I don't widen the tunnel. 
I just make more. And that's an important part. Because you see, your bees will communicate where sources are. It's just like a landing zone. Heaven forbid a robber should actually get in there. It's fine because they'll have trouble getting out. When this is on a 10 frame deep, it's even harder for a robber to figure out where to go to get out. But, and that gives your bees time to sort of uh, get the robber. Small hive beetles, I have no small hive beetles. I might get a little tiny one in there, the ones that aren't laying, I think they're males or something, um, randomly. But otherwise, my bees tend to, I've noticed these bees will actually pick up things whatever it is ants whatever I've, I've seen them they pick stuff up and fly out with it but i think this gives them a running start it is important to make sure you don't leave any cracks like i might want to come back here with a piece of tape or something and get that secured or whatever but even i just every bee that stays out of my hive that doesn't belong here is a good thing because Robbers, when they come in, they bring mites and things like that. So this is keeps my hives a little bit safer on another level. They're not having invaders come in with broa or various other things. It's just something to think about. It doesn't have to be expensive. Everybody's got a stapler and window screen. Like I said, I did this with some plastic screen, but I really do prefer that uh, fiberglass coated darker plastic has smaller holes um, and I really think that's much better keeping mm -hmm. ants and things like that out the little sugar ants can't get past it and they have to crawl up and that gives the bees a chance to kind of fight them and if sugar ants are your problem just put water underneath your hive a big tray of water oh see here and they're not going through as much sugar, uh, sugar water either, I've noticed. This keeps it warm for them, but they do go at it day and night. And on a rainy day, this is good because we did have some rain. And See, they're sort of calling each other home. They're saying, come on home, y'all. You can see that. They can flutter their little wings.